Welcome, everyone, to another episode of everybody's favorite kids podcast, Froggy the Gator. I'm grateful to be joining you today, and I wanted to ask, did you have a good Easter? You did? Well, that's great to hear. What did you do this Easter? Yeah, that sounds pretty fun. Did you happen to find some Easter eggs over the weekend? Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I, I bet you did. How many did you find? Wow, that is a lot. And I'm guessing they had candy inside as well, huh? Yep, 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 that sounds about right. And that sounds great. And me and my kids also had an Easter egg hunt. We had several Easter egg hunts, actually. And we had a big family reunion hosted at a church in the town that my mom grew up in. And it was a great weekend, all in all. And it made me really grateful for all of the blessings in my life. Do you feel the same way? That's great to hear. Now, we've got a show to do today, and we're going to start this show with another great joke to get things going. This is a joke from some of our listeners. Their names are Charlotte, Harvey, and Megan, and their joke goes like this. Are you ready? Okay, it's pretty funny, by the way, so here it goes. Why did the chicken cross the playground? Okay, why did the chicken cross the playground? Do you have a good guess? I'll let you think about it for a second. Okay, here's the answer. Why did the chicken cross the playground? To get to the other slide. Wow, truly inspiring. I am amazed at the depth of of our listeners' sense of humor. Charlotte, Harvey, Megan, thank you. And if any of our other listeners want to share a joke, you can do that in our Q&A on Spotify, which is attached to this episode. And today's episode was also co-written by a couple of our listeners. Specifically, their names are August and Silas, and they helped write this show with their dad, Zach. It was a pretty special day for Froggy the Gator. You see, today, Froggy the Gator was going with his dad, with Mr. Hummus, with Tomato Hedgehog, with Wormbird, and with his stuffed alligator Gershwin to Gator Grove Point. And if you don't know what Gator Grove Point is, it's an indoor water park with huge water slides, with a wave pool that sends really huge waves right at you like you're at the ocean, with a bunch of fountains and stuff to play in, and of course, a really fun and relaxing lazy river. A froggy the gator ran to the gate when they arrived at Gator Grove Point. Oh boy, he said, this is going to be the most fun day ever. He had his swimsuit on, all his friends did. They had their towels, and they didn't need sunscreen because it was inside, and they were all ready for a fun day at the water park. They immediately went to check out the water slides. They first rode a water slide called the Tower of Destiny. It was a huge orange water slide, and all the guys had inner tubes that they wore as they slid down it. They flew down the slide, going through the twists and turns, and shot out like cannonballs to the pool below. Then they went to another big slide. This one was called, fittingly, the Rocket Launch. And it was a really tall water slide that went basically straight down, almost at a 90 degree angle, Froggy guessed. And as the guys went down it, they estimated that they must have been going approximately 100 miles per hour. They were going that fast. They tried all the water slides, a few times each in fact, and they were having a great time eating snacks and hot dogs and popcorn between rides and checking out the wave pool where they body surfed on the huge waves that it generated using hydraulic paddles and plungers that generated enough force to create actual waves like you see in the ocean. It was truly the best day ever, Froggy figured, until suddenly he noticed something was wrong. Wait a minute, guys, Froggy said as they walked out of the wave pool back toward one of their favorite water slides. Have any of you seen Gershwin? I know I brought him in here, but I haven't seen him all day. Where could he have gone? Hmm, said Mr. Hummus. And now that you mention it, no, no, I haven't seen him. I saw you carry him inside, but I haven't seen him since we got here. Oh man, Froggy said to his friends. You know what that means. Old Gershwin might be up to some trouble. 
Let's keep an eye out for him, and in the meantime, let's check out the Lazy River. Now, if you don't know what a lazy river is at a water park, imagine, well, a river. And you get in inner tubes, which are inflatable tubes that you sit in, and you float down the river with your friends, and you enjoy the water, and you cruise along, and you talk, and you laugh, and you generally have a great time. So the guys got in the lazy river. Wormbird actually decided to use his bug wings to fly along instead of getting in a tube. And then they all started their trip. They imagined they were floating down the mighty Mississippi River, like Huck Finn or Tom Sawyer, which you can read or listen to on Sherwood, by the way. And they thought about what they might see as they floated down the most famous river in the USA. In their imagination, they saw muddy, sandy banks, a beautiful sun shining overhead, and all kinds of trees and grass and animals as far as the eye can see. This is so peaceful, Froggy the Gator said to his friends. But just as they were really getting into the idea of floating along and not worrying about anything, they suddenly had something to worry about. Because all of a sudden, as they were floating peacefully down the lazy river, they all at once lurched to a stop. Their tubes ran into the tubes of the people in front of them. Hey, Froggy said to his friends, what's going on? It's like there's some kind of traffic jam here. It's like there's some kind of log jam. The kids in front of Froggy, who Froggy didn't know, but they seemed nice enough, said, Yeah, we've been stuck here for a few minutes now. This log jam goes as far as we can see. This is bad, said Mr. Hummus. If this log jam doesn't get fixed, nobody will have the tubes and the rafts they need to go down the water slides. They'll all be stuck here in the lazy river. Hmm, Froggy the Gator said to his friends. You don't think that this could be... Gershwin's doing, do you? But they all knew immediately that Gershwin was the only possible culprit. So they got out of their tubes. They could do that because it was allowed in the rules of the water park, and the lazy river was pretty shallow anyway, plus the guys were all pretty good swimmers by now, and they all walked ahead, pushing aside the rafts of the stuck park guests to see what was causing the jam. They pushed and they pushed, and finally, after what felt like hours of fighting through the current of the mighty Mississippi, they saw it. None other than... Swampwater Riverboat Gershwin! In their minds, of course, they saw Froggy stuffed alligator Gershwin laughing hysterically as he clawed to the lazy river and created a huge log jam that nobody could get past. Hey, Gershwin, Froggy shouted. What do you think you're doing here? And Swampwater Riverboat Gershwin just laughed. Ha ha ha, he said. Froggy, you brought me into this water park, and then you immediately forgot about me. You were having so much fun with your friends that you just left me sitting by the banks of this lazy river. So now I have blocked it so that nobody shall pass. Froggy thought for a second. And Gershwin was technically right. Froggy did kind of neglect him. He was kind of irresponsible with his friend Gershwin. The slides were all so fun and distracting, and he was having such a great time with his friends that he didn't think about Gershwin. So Froggy immediately knew what to do. Gershwin, Froggy said, I'm sorry I neglected you today. That was a mistake on my part, and I feel awful. But these people need to get past. They need these tubes for the slides, and we have to stop this log jam. Will you ride with me on my raft so that the lazy river can go back to normal? And with that, Gershwin immediately softened his stance. You know, Froggy, Gershwin said, that makes me feel a lot better. And so Froggy scooped up his soggy stuffed animal friend, held him close on his raft, as the lazy river started flowing again. The end.